Hi, this is Michael Breen with EV West, and today we got a quick tip for you. We get a lot of inquiries from our customers asking uh, little questions on how to make the installation easier, so we're going to start a little series and share some tips with you. Today we want to talk about twisted pair or twisted pair wiring. This is a technique that, believe it or not, was discovered by Alexander Graham Bell, like way back in the day, and he discovered that you can cancel out electromagnetic interference by twisting two pairs of wire together. And uh, we use this type of wiring for uh, measuring the current across the shunt in our state of charge meters. So what I want to do today is just show you a really quick method of creating twisted pair wire for yourself. And uh, this is the type of stuff that you see, you even find it uh, as factory wiring in vehicles. And walk a little closer so you can see it. It's nice, nice braided wire. Uh, it gives you a real nice look. So if you're installing our Link Pro or uh, Xantrax, anything connected to a shunt, we recommend this type of wiring be used on all shunt applications. So what we do is we just measure out the course of the wire that we need. We add about 20-25% to that length because when you twist the wire, it's going to shorten it up. So you're going to go ahead, cut two pairs of wire. We use you know 18 gauge wire on most of this stuff and just go ahead and cut equal lengths. Take your two pieces and put them in a vise. I'm just going to use our mill vise because it's right here and it's nice and easy. So I'm just going to stick this in the end here and clamp it down. I'm going to stretch this out. I'm just going to use a cordless drill. You could use a corded one either way. Get your two strips. And we're just going to put it in the chuck. I'm going to hold it with my hand and tighten it down. Now when I go ahead and tighten this, I want to put constant pressure on this. If I do it loose like this, it'll get all tangled up. We don't want that. So I'm going to pull back, put a little bit of constant pressure on it, and twist it up. Once it becomes nice and tight, I'm going to run it a little bit further and then back it off all while maintaining pressure on the drill. And what that does is it kind of sets it so it doesn't want to unravel. I'm going to go a little bit further, pull back, put it in reverse, loosen it a little, and then undo the, the chuck. And there we have our twisted pair, and you're going to have a nice clean signal for your current sensor that comes off of your shunt. I hope that saves you a couple uh, minutes in your installation. And uh, for EV West, today's quick tip, this is Michael Bream, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.